Design isn't always about showing off originality. More often it's about taking familiar ideas and presenting them in a way that feels new and exciting. Recently, Show Us Your Type opened submissions for poster designs themed around the word peace. I had to jump in. To spark ideas, I started with brainstorming. I wrote down everything that came to my mind when I thought of peace and played around with combining these concepts to see where they might lead. A dove intertwined with type, guns warped with type, the classic peace symbol turned into typography, a throwback to 70s psychedelic design. As I put these ideas down, a few promising ones started to emerge. Ultimately, I chose to go with the most familiar symbol, the dove. Yeah, I know, it's the cliché choice. But sometimes, it's the tried and true ideas that makes the most sense, especially when given a new twist. So how could I reimagine the dove in a way that it felt fresh and different? After all, it's been done countless times before. My solution was to embed the dove seamlessly into the typography itself and draw it in a unique way. To see how it can be potentially done, I looked up stylistic references. I wanted my posts to have that iconic 70s vibe, so I took cues from the legendary psychedelic artist Wes Wilson and the more modern spin on his lettering using libido typeface by type designer Matthias Herzberg. I bring my work into Illustrator to fine-tune the balance of the letters and the overall flow of the design. I'm especially drawn to curving the design like a bow to echo the graceful movement of a dove. Psychedelic art is known for its quirky counters and snug letter spacing, so I pick up the brush and increase the thickness a bit more than usual. I'm hoping this adds a fresh, playful touch to the piece. While Libido already has that modern vibe I'm aiming for, I want to push its rectangular structure even further to match the natural flow of my art. To wrap up, I fine-tune the vectors, round the edges and finalize the line work to bring everything together. Once the structure of my type was set, it was time to think about color. The classic psychedelic style is all about bright, bold hues that radiate optimism. But to give my design that different twist I'm looking for, I kept the color scheme minimal, choosing just one strong color like red or black, or maybe even some clouds on the background to swap out that cheerful tone for something more serious and impactful. And there you go, the final design. Let me know if it looks fresh or if I flop as a designer.